Yeah, we'd, we'd been off the road for seven years, so um, the chemistry was good. I mean, almost immediately, I think we felt like we... <laughs> that we, we clicked back into basically where we'd left off. So that was not an issue for us at all. I mean, we get asked a lot about what, if we feel there is a revival of the 90s, and, and to oh. be honest, I think we feel like there is no such thing as a 90s sound, really. I think what people are nostalgic for is the fact that back in the 90s, there were so many different eclectic types of music played on, on mainstream radio, and that's no longer the case. It's all pop music. So I think people are just aching to hear different types of music. So when we came out, we, we would be sandwiched on the radio in between like Tupac and Missy Elliott and Hole Records and Fiona Apple Records. So um, that just doesn't happen right now. Well, I like uh, one of the bands playing on the festival, Best Coast, I love. I love their records. Yeah. There's probably about a hundred bands in my uh, Mac or my iPod that I listen to constantly. All, all new bands, too, and they're great. And they're all quite different. And the Utopians, who I believe come from Argentina. Yeah, we, we hung out with Barbie um, a few nights ago, and we fell madly in love with her. So. We've been trying to figure it out, though. Uh, we, we probably weren't that familiar with uh, Argentinian bands before we came here, but now that we've met the Utopians, <laughs> we know what's happening. I don't really think of myself as a, a sexy person. Um, I don't think I'm a sex symbol at all. Um, I think that I'm lucky in that I've had a long career, which I think in alternative music is, is rare. So do I feel good about that? Absolutely. I feel great to have survived where very few have. Yes. And um, I think it's a great privilege for me. You know, I used to get asked all the time about uh, Nevermind and Kurt Cobain, especially when the first Garbage record came out. And honestly, I got very annoyed with it and I stopped talking about it for a long time until last year the 20th anniversary came up and I got together with Dave and Chris and we started reminiscing and I helped with the box set and that record is such a big part of my history. Garbage would not be here if I hadn't done Nevermind because that opened up so many doors and really allowed me to pick and choose projects and um, you know it, it's a good record and I don't mind talking about it but there's not really much I can say everything has been written about it, you know and basically when kids come up and ask me now I just say you listen to the record if, if you want to know what it is, just listen to the record. That's You're going to get more of listening to that than anything I could possibly tell you. I think we're playing as good live as we've ever played in our career. And part of that is because we took a seven year break and when we came back, we felt energized and revitalized. We also kind of went back and rearranged some of the songs and took a new look at them. And I think any fans who are going to come and see us are, are going to be happy because we're playing songs from the first four records. We're mixing those up and we're playing we usually play four or five songs from Not Your Kind of People too, but we definitely mix it up and a lot of old songs and some of the new songs.